This woman here claims she knows Brian Kohlberger and she's going to, I'm going to share with you what she shared to everyone. I'm going to share a clip. So listen to this clip. She describes her interactions with Brian, what she knows about him. It's definitely worth listening to. Check it out right here. Something like this up. I am just an absolute shock right now. I was heading to lunch when my mom called me and immediately I knew something was off because I have the type of family that we don't call each other. So if someone does call someone, um, we know something's bad. Uh, she called me and asked me about the, the murders. Um, I didn't know where she was going with it until she said that it was Brian Koberger and naturally I freaked out and called about eight of my friends. Um, my brother was really good friends with him. My other friend, Brandon, was really good friend, friends with him. I'm going to have a picture of him with him um, on the green screen as well. I'm shaking still. Um, but anyway, let me let me show you. This is back. This is Brandon, the one I was just talking about. That's his wife, Brianna, and that's me. This was back in 2017. Obviously, that's Brian. Um, still has the dead face that... It's the eyes, I don't know. Um, but when I spoke to him back in 2017, he was clean. Um, he was a heavy heroin user uh, back in high school. And um, it was just nice to see the kid clean up. And at that time he said he was doing security detail. I believe it was out of school is what he told me. Um, but he seemed like he was better. Obviously that wasn't true. Here's another picture from a party that we had at Brandon's house. That's Brian there. He used to be a bigger kid as well. Um, but again, that's him. And then at the same wedding, I'm here, but he's back there. He was out sitting at the same table as me and my mother. Um, but he is back there enjoying a drink. I was sitting right next to him. We talked. He seemed fine. My mom sent me the old school yearbook. That was him. Brian Koberger, that's him. He went to Pleasant Valley graduated with I think my friend Christopher a year um older sorry younger than me this is when he um nonchalantly decided to make me drive him around the Poconos for heroin and I had no idea I thought I was just doing a nice deed because he needed something and it turns out that he was getting heroin um sorry I'm like my voice is shaking I might make a part two I probably have to I don't have a six minute feature I only have a three minute feature I also talk really fast so I'm sorry